Hey guys, welcome to another Zero tutorial. My name's Sam and I'm the owner here at Tallbooks. Today we're gonna to go through invoicing in Zero, which you'll see is really straightforward and quite nicely laid out. So to start off with, we're on the main dashboard here as there's a few ways you can get to the invoicing screen. So the easiest one would be under the invoices owed to you screen here. You can click on new sales invoice You'll also get a breakdown of the statuses of the invoices you've issued. And if we scroll down, you can see your aged receivables as well here along the bottom. So that's the first way. Second way is the plus symbol up the top right. You can click that and there's quite a few functions, but we've got invoice here down the middle. And the other way I like to process invoices is under accounts, sales. And I'll take us in there now and you can see, you can create a new invoice on the spot on the left-hand side. So in Xero, you've got a few different statuses. So this is a bit different to some of the other um, software providers. It starts with draft, then you've got awaiting approval, um, awaiting payment and overdue. So basically you can set different levels of user access in your system or alternatively, you might raise a draft invoice so that someone else in the business can review it before sending it out. And that way you've just got a safer system in place. Um, or a lot of people also like to use the draft invoice system for something they've created that they'll add to in the future. So whilst you've got an invoice open in the draft status, you can add more and more to it before you approve it. So let's give that a shot. So if we just click new and invoice, it brings up our invoice screen here. So we're just gonna select a random supplier here in this demo file, real estate. You've got your date of issue and your due date you can select. Now this can also be set up in the supplier card or customer card as well. So it will default for you the general terms that you want to give. So we're going to give them two weeks here. Now it automates for you an invoice number. You can add a reference, whatever you'd like. It might be um, A1 with their own customer number. And then you select your branding. So here I've got tall books with my company's individual customized invoice. You can see the demo file has a few others. So you can set up different invoice templates. You can also attach files here in the top right hand corner. So if you want to send it out with an attachment, uh, maybe timesheets or um, quote information, terms and conditions, you can attach things here on the right hand side. Now, creating the invoice is so simple. You can use items or have a service template. So if you click on the items drop down, we can select from the list or alternatively, you can just start typing and tap across and it will fill in the data for you. So obviously you pre-set up these items. Um, you can also set up things on the spot as well and it will fill in the rest of the information based on what you have selected. You can change the account it goes to, the tax rate, etc. You can set it up with a region depending on your business setup. Uh, maybe you've got different sectors, different departments, etc., And you can put a discount on it as well. So that's that there. If you just wanted to add a service-based one, maybe we had, um, let's just say, first visit fee. I'm going to say the quantity was one hour and we'll just charge 100 for it. And we'll also put that into the other revenue account. So you can see how simple that is. One of the features I love about Xero that some of the other software providers don't yet have is the ability to use any of the fields for whatever you'd like. So what I mean by that is the description field. What about if I wanted to break down that first visit fee? Well, I could simply go to the description below it and type in consultation, uh, maybe review of business and general repairs. There we go. So what will happen is 
I've got an extra line there that doesn't need an amount, doesn't need anything else filled out. But when you view the invoice, it will have the detail below this first visit fee. You could, of course, just add that in here as well, but you may have a lot to write in. And so you can just pop it below in the description field. And you can, of course, rearrange these with the left hand side. So maybe that was for the professional one hour consultation. Maybe it was for the visit fee. I'm free to swap that around. So that's generally creating an invoice. Once that's done, you can approve it and it will send it straight to the status of awaiting payment. You can then email it out to the client or I can save it as a draft. Now, if I save it as a draft, it then goes into my drafts folder that we saw here. So if we go back to accounts and sales, you'll see it now sitting in the draft section. So that's where it automatically took us to. And there's our invoice draft right at the top. So if I go into that draft, I can then approve that maybe the business owner or the salesperson comes in, looks at it, maybe wants to make an amendment, should be charging more, approves that. Once that's approved, it will take you to the screen where you can email it out, print it off, et cetera, or make further changes to it under the invoice options. So that's the general invoicing in Xero. As you can see, it's quite easy to use, um, very versatile and very user-friendly. So you can also copy invoices, which is something I love. If you go into invoice options, let's say next time I wanna build this client, I don't wanna to have to fill out everything again come to that same invoice, click copy. It will generate a new invoice for me using the same details. I can then simply change what I need to. So maybe this needs to have a different name. Um, maybe it's the second invoice and we've got our own system of numbers and they didn't have this this time. It's the second visit. You can see how easy it is to update the details, but using the template I had, I've just created an invoice for the same client, can pop in the same details, and we're good to go. So that saves you a lot of time, especially with repetitive tasks. You can also set up invoices as recurring. So basically, when you set up this invoice here, um, you can save it as a draft, you can save it as an invoice to go out to the client, or you can save it as recurring and it's good to go. And that's the overall view of invoicing in Xero. If you have any questions, feel free to um, post them down below the video. Also worth noting the mobile app for Xero, which is available for iPhone and Android, you can invoice from that as well. So download that for free. All of the software providers have something similar. It's very easy to use, worth a look.